Hi guys, Bailey from Create Your Future here. I am a certified Law of Assumption coach and I am here to help you awaken your inner euphoria in order to get everything you want. We still have a super fun contest going on. The details are in the description box below, so be sure to check it out. I'm also running a sale for just a little while longer, so be sure to check it out if you guys want any help at all in manifesting in your manifestations. So today guys, I'm gonna be discussing how to get in the mindset of not reacting to the 3D. This could be your SP with a third party, you lost your job, someone tells you they don't want to be with you, or just any obstacles coming up in your 3D and how you can handle them. Because this is an amazing ability you want to become an expert in in order to maintain your reality. Because you're currently living in the 3D world that you have created, but you're also living within your imagination of what it is that you want to create. So I want you guys to become this master manifester by doing this because when you do this, the faster and easier your life is going to change in the direction of what it is that you want. Because you're going to become someone so powerful that when the 3D is giving you something unfavorable, you're able to look at it like, uh uh honey, not in my reality. I don't know whose reality this is, but it surely isn't mine because in my reality, I get everything I want. You know, I hear so often. How do you just become so unbothered by the 3D that no matter what's happening, you know you're gonna get it? My mind just can't think like that. I overthink, I have anxiety, I can't control my thoughts that way. But guys, you have to think of it this way. When you want to create a change in your reality, you are disrupting your thinking pattern completely. It is so easy to feel comfortable and being scared or doubtful, but that is exactly what it is you're changing. If you keep reacting and being upset or angry, you are going to keep producing the same exact patterns in for yourself every single time because you are not changing your reactions. You have to stand up to yourself and for yourself. Because you're going to put your foot down and say, I'm not putting up with this anymore. That's why manifesting for me comes in really, really easy because I refuse to take no for an answer. I know no matter what I'm going to get exactly what I want in all of the circumstances that a lot of people might think are so unfavorable, I have that dominant understanding that I know I create my reality. So this is either old news from previous beliefs, but if it does trigger me in any type of way, there is still a part of me that is resonating with that old story. So I'm gonna flip it as soon as I analyze it so that I can become that person who has their manifestation. Because what you guys have to understand is your 3D is what we call an illusion. It's not real anyways. <laughs> so when you have that understanding, that living in your mind and having that confirmation up there, it's going to push out for you. It has to, that's the law. So do not let what happens in front of you dictate the story of what you're telling yourself. No one has that power over you unless you give it to them. So don't give away your power. You should feel just as confident in your affirmations as you do in things that you know for a fact. So for example, if someone came up to me and told me, oh my goodness, you have the prettiest blue eyes, and they're going on and on about how beautiful and blue my eyes are. I know for a fact, in my mind, my eyes are beautiful and brown. I got the Bambi eyes, so no one's going to tell me anything different. Okay, you guys have to have the same state in regards to your manifestation. If you see your SP with someone else, if you see your bank account is negative, if your hair is the shortest it's ever been in your life, I don't care. You stand firm on what the story you're telling yourself, regardless of what is going on around you. You are the person your SP is always out with. You are the person with millions in your bank account. You are the person with the longest hair in the world. Who do you tell yourself you are? Because that's what will manifest. The answer is always, always within. Don't look anywhere but within to find them. You guys want to start to kind of think of your 3D as your favorite show or movie. So if you're going about and enjoying it as the creator and you're on your phone at lunch with your friends, and let's say you see a picture of your SP with someone else, you are not going to invest yourself emotionally in that and attach yourself to the 3D in that moment. You're going to evaluate that whole scenario and situation as, whoa, 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 I'm the director of this movie and this is not in the script. I know, I'm the star of the show. Everything is working out for me perfectly. I get my happy ending because I'm so deserving of it. I'm actually really, really grateful for this because it's letting me know I have something a little faulty up here and I need to evaluate it. 
this scene is trying to get me it's trying to be a tearjerker but this is a rom-com baby and this is off script and i'm not gonna let this movie change genres in the middle i know my power i know i create so instead of emotionally investing in this i'm gonna reread this script because this is really telling me that i'm not following it so my mindset must be off topic or it must be off the script a little too much, but now I'm able to review it and get myself back on track as the best because only good things ever happen to me. I always get what I want and I know I'm valued, cherished, appreciated by everyone in my life. They love me and everything just works out for me. I'm in control. Okay, it doesn't necessarily matter what you say to yourself in the moment as long as it's super directed in your favor and not the opposing. So don't think that there's a magical affirmation that's going to get you to that mindset. It's all what feels the best to you when you are in that mindset. So as long as you're implying the positive of it and you're assuming in your favor no matter what it shows, you want to always look at the unfavorable 3D as like a trickster in a way because this is not real. You are the director of the movie and you're not sure why people went back to that other script, but take it as a redirection because now they know from this point forward, this is the script we're following. Sorry for the confusion, guys. This is the one we're following now because I'm the director and whatever I say goes. This script is the one you're following as the person who gets everything they want. It all works out for you. Everything is constructed in your favor. If the actors start acting wonky or unfavorable, remember, you are who you are and what you say goes you are the director in this this is your movie not theirs you don't want your movie being published with bad acting and a bad ending no you caught that and now you're about to have the best movie premiere on the market you call the shots you interrupt the bad acting or your unfavorable thoughts in 3d and you tell them what it is you want them to do so I also have a really, really cool success story from one of my clients that I want to share with you guys so you can see just how easy this is. So I'm intending you guys feel super empowered and understand you can do this just as easily. So I had a client who really, really, really wanted to manifest a text from her SP for her birthday. She was in no contact from a breakup and it was going on for a few months, but she wanted to hear from her SP on her special day. Now I want to bring up the fact that he did forget her birthday two years in a row prior to this day. So she would find herself spiraling over the past events and having a really hard time controlling her thoughts in regards to this. She had just seen a few weeks before as well that her SP was in another relationship. So at this point, she felt that all of the circumstances in her reality were against her. And she expressed that she'd be affirming and her thoughts would go completely mean and remind her of all the things in her current 3D of why she couldn't get this text. So what it is that we began working on is developing the understanding that your thoughts are simply just your thoughts. Okay guys, we can control them and take back our power from them just as we do anything in the 3D. We had to work on, you know, the knowing of you are in full control of what it is you think. It's merely a choice. It is the same exact thing to sit and dwell in your thoughts of not getting what you want and allowing that to become your mood as it is to allow your SP telling you they don't want to be with you to dictate your relationship status, okay? Because you are in full control always and you have to master your own mind in the same way you feel you can change anything outside of you. So we begin working on affirming for favorable thoughts only along with focusing on really setting her intentions to hear from her SP on her birthday. So after practicing this, she noticed a shift within a few days of her affirming for her mindset. Her negative thoughts were really, really quiet and were nowhere to be found, which made this process a lot easier for her because she was able to really, really begin to focus on what it is she wanted. And her SP ended up texting her a week later on her birthday. And then he even asked her out to dinner to celebrate. And I was just so excited for her. And she was able to keep a clear focus on what it is she wanted and have one of the best birthdays with her SP. So I am so excited for her because she was able to prove to herself just how easy and effortless this process can actually be. So I want to give you guys a couple affirmations to help you to develop this way of thinking to get your manifestations and to stop reacting so much to what the 3D is showing you. So some of the things that I really want you guys to practice affirming is I only think in favor of what I want. I only think thoughts that serve my desires and manifestations. I have an extremely confident mindset when manifesting. 
I have a strong, consistent mental diet. I am always in a state of wish fulfilled no matter what. Okay, so I want you guys to pick one or two of those and keep them on a loop. So let me know in the comments below if you guys notice your negative thoughts becoming less and less after practicing these. So remember guys, you are in full control of your reality and of what your mind does exactly what you tell it to do. So I want you guys to stop giving away your power to anything outside of you and restore that power within yourself. Your thoughts are under your control. So don't see them as something outside of you or as something you can't control because you set the rules for yourself and how your manifestation journey is going to go. So guys, if you found this video helpful, like and comment below. Remember, we all have intrusive thoughts and moments of doubt and fear, but your dominant thought being everything works out for you and you're the creator of your reality that will manifest. The intrusive thoughts aren't going to. You'll see yourself not reacting to the 3D and knowing you're going to get what you want no matter what. So keep focusing on what it is you do want and remember to give yourself grace and be grateful for the journey you're on. So as always, I intend these affirmations work instantly for you guys and you receive your manifestations and more. So goodbye love bugs and I will see you next time.